Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the newly added feature in Elementor Pro that is display conditions. Now you can add display conditions to the Elementor widgets or Elementor sections on your website. For example, if you want to show this entire section only to the logged in users, then you can add a display condition like that. If you want to add coupon codes only to the customers of your website, then you can use display condition. If you want to show this section or if you want to show any banner on your website for a particular time period then you can use display condition let's say i want to show a section on my website for a particular time period then i can use a display condition if you are running WooCommerce website, you can add different types of display condition for the shop page or the product page. So let's see how we can use the display conditions in Elementor. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor Pro on this website. You can see that I'm using the latest version of the Elementor Pro that is 3.20. Actually, I'm using Elementor hosting services where I can get updated Elementor Pro plugin. So before you start using display conditions, make sure that it is enabled on your Elementor settings. So let's go to Elementor and go to Elementor settings. Here go to features and under features you can scroll down and you will see an option here display conditions make sure that it is active if it is not active then make it active and save the changes at the bottom so that this feature will be enabled on your wordpress website it says it is still in alpha state and it requires elementor version 3.19 and above so on this website i have the display conditions enabled so let's go to one of the pages here so this is the home page of the website and we will try display conditions on the home page so let's go to edit with elementor and i am on the edit with elementor page now you can start with selecting the section on your website so you can enable the display condition for the section let's see this is one of the sections and i want to add some display condition for this section so i've selected this one if you want you can also select title or you can select button or you can select any image and you can add display conditions let's go to this section go to advanced tab at the top and on the advanced tab you will see the option display condition this is available for the section as well as elements if i go to this title and i go to i can go to advanced and you will see the display condition for the title also if i go to image advanced you will see that it is available for the images also so display conditions will be available for all the elements as well as for the sections on your elementor website and it is a feature of elementor pro plugin so you need to have elementor pro plugin to use the display conditions so here i have selected this section and i'm on the advanced tab now i'm going to click on display conditions and it will open the option where you can set the conditions set one or more conditions for this element Keep in mind certain cache plugins can conflict with your display conditions. So if you're using cache plugin, you need to disable it for a moment and then set the condition and test if the condition is working or not. So I'm going to click on add condition and you will see different options here. The first option is page parent is and from here you can select the page. If the parent page is home page, then this condition will be applied. Next option is author. If the author is, you can select your author. If you have multiple authors, you can select the author for the condition. Next option is in categories. If the post is in particular category, then you can select this condition. In tags, date modified, date of publish, author, login status, role, registration date, day of the week. Let's start with this one. Let's start with the login status. If the login status is logged in, then only show this section on the website. So I'm going to select this one, click save and close. So right now I am logged into the website. Let's update it. Let's go to the website. Here I'm logged in. Let me refresh it. And we can see the section is there. Now I'm going to open the same website in incognito mode where I'm not logged into the website. And let's refresh it. So this is the section. I'm going to refresh it. 
you will see that the section is no longer available for the logged out user. So this is the condition for the logged in users. The user is logged into the website. So if the user is having some membership or if the user is customer on your website, then only they will be able to see this section. All right, so this is one of the condition. Let's go to display condition again and delete this condition. If you want to add multiple conditions, you can also add multiple conditions. Let's go to the other condition here. Next is, let's say, role. If the role is administrator, then only this section will be shown. You can also add multiple roles, editor or author. So this section will be available for the users who have these roles, administrator, editor or author. So you can set the role for the condition. So let's select this one. And if you want to add multiple conditions, you can also add multiple select the role login status should be logged in then only they will be able to see this section and after logging in if the role is administrator then only it will be shown to the administrator so let's delete this one let's delete this one and let's go to the next one a registration date so if the user of your website is a registered user then you can also add a condition of the registration date so here, from here, you can select the date. If the user is registered on your website on this date, then only this section will be shown to that particular user. This so here, you can select the server time or the visitor time. Let's delete this one. Next option is a day of the week. Okay, now let's see. Day of the week is, let's say here, today is Monday then only this section will be shown. So today's day is Monday and I'm going to save this condition and click update. All right, so you will see that this is available. If I go to incognito mode, the section is available for the Monday. Now let me change the condition here and I'm going to make it, let's say Wednesday save and close so this section will be shown only on the wednesday let me update it and let's refresh and you will see that the section is gone because we have added the condition to show this section only on wednesday all right let's go back to display condition delete the condition from here add a new one the time of the day if you want to show this section in a particular time period then you can select the time period also let's say i want to add an offer i'm going to create a new section here let's add a background color here add heading all right so this is a discount of 20 percent and i want to show this section only during some fixed dates so i'm going to add a new condition here select this section and go to advanced tab go to display conditions and click on add condition let's go to current date is after 28 let's say i want to show this from 28 of jan 2024 add another condition if current date is before and let's say 31st of Jan 2024. So it is going to show this section only during this period of time, 28th of Jan 2024 to 31st of Jan 2024. So it is going to check the condition whether the current date is after 28 and whether the current date is before 31st of Jan. So only during this time period, the selected section will be shown save and close update it let's go back refresh it right now you can see that today's date is 29 so it is displaying that particular section now let me go back and change the date before that let me delete the conditions that we have here let's select this section and go to display condition and i'm going to change the condition so I'm going to select, let's say, uh, I'm going to select the date from the next month. So I want to show this section from 1st of Feb to 
5th of Feb. All right, save and close. Update it. Now today is 29th. So the current date is not in that range. So let's go back in incognito mode, refresh it. And you will see that the section is not displaying because we are not in that time period. So this is about the time period. Let's go to display condition. Let's delete these conditions. Click add new. Now here you will see another condition that is from URL. So if you are running ads on your Facebook ad or on the Instagram, then you can add the URL of your Facebook page from where you are sending the traffic to your website. So it is going to validate the condition. If the user is coming from that particular URL, then only it is going to show this particular element or the widget or the section of your website. So this is another condition that you can use. Let's go to theme builder. I'm going to delete this one. Let me try another one here. Here I'm on the theme builder and let's go to single product. This is the layout of the single product page. And I want to show some coupons on the single product page only to the logged in customer. So, so we are logged into the single product page here and I'm going to add, let's say a title here. Let's add a title here. All right, so this is the coupon code and I want to show this coupon code only to the logged in customers. So what I'm going to select, I'm going to select this title, go to advance, go to display conditions, add a condition and let's go to login status. And if it is logged in, then only show this coupon code. So they can use this coupon code. So let me save it. Let's go to one of the products here. And here I'm already logged in so I can see this code is displaying on the page. Now I'm going to open the same page in incognito mode. So here I'm not logged in. And that title is not available for the logged out users. Now you can set different condition if the user is a customer, then only you can display this coupon code who are already customers on your website. They can see this extra coupon code. So you can add these conditions in the template. You can add these conditions for the blog post. Also, you can set the condition for different categories. So this is how you can use the display condition in Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.